He to have an ear to hear. Let him hear. All right, man. It's really good to re uh to hear instruction. Do not refuse instruction. Okay, because instruction is what's going to save you, save your soul. Before honor is humility. Why? Because in in this world today, we are going to be pretty much humiliated when we preach the word of Jesus Christ. Because the world, they doesn't they don't believe in what we believe in. Okay, the world is all into themselves. They're all into their own greed, speaking the things that they don't understand, unfaithful, unholy, all into themselves, disobedient to parents, man. Disobedient, disobedient to God. Because they have their own, they mix God with their own fleshy doctrine. Speaking for their own family, their own nations. And they say that this is from God. And it's not from God. God didn't never teach that. God never taught you that, you know, you were going to get worldly gains. He said, Satan is the prince of this world. Okay? We're not supposed to hope for worldly gains. And if we receive worldly gains... Then what do we do? We help those who don't have them. Okay? And fear of the Lord is the beginning of knowledge, man. These people who love to debate, they deny wisdom. And they don't have knowledge. They don't have knowledge about God. But they claim to have it. And they mix it. With worldly wisdom. And that's why it's not good to be slothful. You know, we have to put out work, man. Do work. You know, it's not, you know, the works that save us, the works of the law, but it is the work of faith. Nobody can tell you what your work for God is, right? But we do have to build ourselves. We can't continue to only use milk. We can't uh, only be hearers only. We can't just sit back and listen. We have to, there has to be some type of output. There's a lot of different things that body of Christ is able to do. But a slothful man has an excuse. He sees a lion in the street and he turns back around. If there's a lion in the street, you're still supposed to get out there, help your brother, have faith that God ain't going to have that lion attack you. Because there's people out here, other people out here dying. Right? So we have to make that sacrifice. We can't have excuses. The ways of an ant, they don't have excuses. Consider the ways of an ant, and you shall be wise. Right? The thing is that we have people that they labor, but they only labor for themselves. And that's the problem. You know, and they judge other people's labor. You know, they judge other people's labor and say, oh, he's, he's doing this wrong or doing that wrong. But yet, what is your labor? Who are you laboring for? Okay? These people, they dig up evil and they're full of deceit. Because they have a doctrine that's about themselves. They labor for themselves. And yet they accuse those who are seeking righteousness. Okay, we're seeking righteousness. We know that we're sinners. We ask for forgiveness. But we're seeking. That's what matters. Seeking the Lord daily. And there's a lot of different things you can do to seek. Him. But just don't debate with people, man. Right? There's nothing wrong with rebuking somebody. Because these people that like to debate, they're always going to be right in their own eyes. They don't hearken to the counsel of the Lord. We teach the word of Jesus Christ. This doctrine 
on this channel has nothing to do with any of my self beliefs. I only speak the words from the Bible of Jesus Christ through the Holy Spirit. And don't believe me. Go get it from Jesus Christ yourself if you don't believe me. But I will never, ever, ever bring a doctrine that's about my own want. Okay? That condemns other. That condemns my brother. Lovers of my own self. Disobedient to, for, to God and being greedy. I would never speak a doctrine on that. Because I love the Lord. And we all love the Lord who know him and hear his voice. Okay? Now this world is full of, you know, material wants. People who want material gains. There's a bunch of doctrines on YouTube and TikTok. And the thing is, is that. We have to realize that even though we might feel alone, we're not alone. There are more that are with us than are against us. We seek the kingdom of heaven. We don't seek carnal things. You not read the scriptures of how many angels are, work, are with God, Jesus Christ, a kingdom of Jesus Christ. And not only that, even in this world today, we still got a remnant. Of brothers that truly believe in the true word. And they don't believe in no people that mix doctrine and only speak for themselves. You got a lot of people out here that understands the spiritual aspect of what Jesus Christ taught. And God taught also in the Old Testament. So, you know, if there are many against you, trust me, the Lord has your back. He's protecting you all the way. You know, you can't just go out, you know, believing in people that say things and they don't really have knowledge of the scripture. Right. And they're not even talking about scripture no more. You know, don't be partakers with people who are adulterous. And that's adultery when they're, they're using their own, you know, doctrine. That's called idolatry. And idolatry is adultery to God. Right. Because we're mixing doctrine with his doctrine. Right. I mean, the thing is, is that you can't hate your brother, right? And if you claim, you know, who's your, who's your brother, right? Who's the mother of your brother? So it's not, do you not claim that Rebecca is the mother of you? But did not Rebecca have two children in her womb. So who is your brother? How can you be a brother of yourself? You cannot be a brother of yourself. You have to understand who your brother is and stop believing in people who are telling you that you're a brother of yourself. Jacob is not a brother of Jacob. He saw as Jacob's brother. Okay? So just, you know, Stay away from people who say things that doesn't even make sense. Like, try to make sense of things. Try to read the Bible for yourself. Make sure it makes sense before you go teaching it. Because the thing is, is that all this stuff is going to be destroyed. These people, they like to condemn people and tell people that they are going to be destroyed. But the only thing that's going to be destroyed is their false doctrine. And all their material wants and all their, you know, claiming, mixing God's nation with their nation, claiming that, you know, the things that they claim that is God's nation, which is not claiming, you know, destruction, man. Like there will be destruction, but the destruction is going to be those who hate God, man. Who try to mix doctrine. Adulter adulterous. Liars. Deceit. People. Deceitful. Okay, man, so remember, man, be able to take rebuke. If you're able to take rebuke and put out pride, you're able to grow. The thing is, is that no matter what, we're going to have to take rebuke. Right? That's how we learn. That's how you start off. When you're able to take rebuke, you learn so that the next time 
you say something, it'll be right. It'll be correct. And you can go to the scripture and you can prove everything that you say so that nobody can gainsay. And so that you can protect the sheep. Because these sheep are lost, man. They're, they're out here just blowing in the wind to all types of fables and Jewish doctrines and everything, man. And all kinds of other doctrines. I don't know. But they're lost. They're lost. They're just floating in the wind. And they need help. They need brothers to step up and put out this real doctrine. And help them pull your brother out the fire. That's what love is. Love is not a feeling. Love is not butterflies in your stomach. Love is actually doing something unselfish. Like doing something that you are not going to get no personal worldly gain for it. All right? You're not going to get any type of credit. All the credit goes to Jesus Christ. And if you're giving these people, they make their doctrine, they're giving credit to themselves. They don't even mention Jesus. They just keep on mentioning their race. That's how you know it's selfish. You don't even mention Jesus. You mention them every now and then. Come on, man. You can't be giving yourself the credit. That's a false doctrine. So take rebuke. Read. Study. You know, if you become prideful, you will never learn, bro. The prideful cannot learn. They can't learn because they're stuck. Once you're prideful, you're stuck. So, you know... These words, man, they are medicine to the bones. They help you. They deliver you from the evil man, from the wicked brother, from those, you know, that want to argue and debate. You know, they want to argue and debate. You know, we don't debate. We bring them, you know, our witnesses, two or three more witnesses. If they don't receive that, we tell it to the church. And if they don't receive that, then we cast them away as a heathen. Let you know, the prince of this world will take care of them. And hopefully, you know, what's going to happen is that when you get so deep into sin, you have no choice to repent. That's what the law is all about. That's what God is all about. He is all about that, you know, that we're going to sin so much that we're actually going to be like, bro, I can't do this no more. I can't do this. I got to come to the truth because this is, this is selfish. This is dumb. It, it doesn't make sense. This isn't saving me. So God brought sin into the world to save us. So you have to recognize sin, swallow your pride, admit that you're a sinner. And I'm telling you, this word will be like medicine. It won't be like a poison to your bones. It'll be medicine. It'll be like honey, sweet honey. It'll build you up. No longer drinking milk, but eating meat. You know, he who drinks milk is unlearned in the word, but he who eats meat edifies. He edifies the church. He edifies the people and show the people the truth. But remember, it ain't going to be easy because these people, they, they love what they see. They love this place right now. They love the world. They, they can't really see. The, it's hard for them to see the kingdom of heaven. They can't see, you know, New Jerusalem. They see Jerusalem here right now. They see their own family, their own flesh. That's all they see. That's all they hope for. That's Come on, we're talking about eternal life. We're talking about, man, being heirs of the throne of God who owns everything. Like, you, know, you just want to be reincarnated and stay in this place and, and come back as a, a, a black, an Indian, or a Mexican, or, or a white boy, or... KKK or whatever you got going on, you want to come back as that? Come on, man. Hey, we uncircumcised in the heart to understand the spirit, man. Don't let us take your crown. We're going to take your crown, my brother. All right? Don't let us take your crown. Because we, 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 we coming through. We coming through. All right? We are the circumcision. Those who circumcise of the flesh is not the circumcision. Jesus has already took that. He didn't already took that from you. So you can't be offended. You can't stumble at that stumbling stone. Because Jesus is a stumbling stone to those who are offended. So get right, man. Get down with this true doctrine. Help the sheep. Lead the sheep. Love the sheep. Don't be selfish, man. Love is work. Unselfish work. Yeah, I love y'all. Keep marching. Keep fighting. God bless.